Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel and today in this video, we are going to look at how we can set up the relation between the student and the guardian in our application. So far, we have only created this model with its you know, relational table so that we have a belongs to many kind of a relation right? or rather has many uh, relation, right? And now for Let's just understand what we are trying to do. So inside the students, if I go over here, okay, I'm logged out. Let me log in. Now I'm on the edit view of a student. <coughs> like, you know, if I click on anyone. Now I would ideally want that the list of the guardians who are associated with the student is visible on the screen. And that's where the filaments relation manager or relationship manager let me quickly look at the documentation i don't want to you know tell you a wrong thing uh, so it's admin panel where is it let me search relation okay it is just relation managers this is what we are going to create in this video and see how things are managed all right so let me come over here and see I have a few files which I still need to commit this is part of my last video let me look at the git logs and this says last video is video 7 so this one is video 8 um, git add git commit video 8 adding the entity maybe that's about it and let me push that okay now we have a proper code base to start with we need to run a command let us look at what the available commands are pa make and then filament and i can see we have make filament relation manager so this is what we are interested in now in the relationship class the rule is first you define the resource for which you want to create the relation and then you tell the name of the relation that is available in that particular model and then the attribute by which it is mapped let's look at the documentation as well what they are saying so if you go to uh, the relation managers get started you will see that this is the command to create a relation manager you can use the make filament relation manager command right that we saw now in here we can see there is category resource the first then the first, second argument is posts and the third argument is title so what is happening the first one is the name of the resource class for the parent model so in our case Let's just say that the parent model is the student because from the school's perspective, student is the parent thing. And then this second one is the name of the relationship you want to manage, as I told you, right? And the third one is the attribute that will be used to identify posts. Fair enough. So let's just try and make our command. Okay, so we have student resource. The relation and then the attribute with this let's look at the code base what we have in our students resource we have a new folder called relation manager and in here I have this file okay it says the relationship is guardians this is because obviously inside students we have guardians and it is just showing the ID right now if I come over here inside my application if I refresh nothing will happen so far the student relationship doesn't understand that we have a relation with the guardian and that we have actually created something but if I go to our student resource let me open the tab student resource is this one if I scroll over here, can you see there is a function called get relations? And this is where we will have to tell 
student resource that we have a guardian relation class with this in place if i now hit refresh can you see suddenly we have this entire crud over here that's where this beautiful relation managers come into picture so i have right now id visible we have edit delete stuff like that on edit i have a modal pop-up because i haven't created a resource for it remember this is a relation manager class it's not a resource so there are fundamental differences between a resource class and a relation manager class and whatever we do inside the relation manager class right that's only going to affect the table and the columns which are over here it is not creating an entry or a listing which can be visible on the sidebar or creates a route in, in, in the main flow. So that's a difference which you need to understand. All right, let's quickly now set up the table. I have this. Obviously, we have name. It is not picking up the contact number yes that's what i wanted and relation type so this is straightforward and you know, obviously everything is in place let's additionally add select filter make relation type multiple and options inside the options we have relation type enums and then um, okay now the get value will it work let's see i have this and doesn't work is the yeah it is not working because I need to see what's you know, the value coming like over here. Let's inspect element and see. Da, da, da. Choices. Where is my select field? Da, 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 da. Value is 0. Value is 1, 2, 3. Right. So it is giving the index, which is not going to work for me. What I will do is rather have one more method called get key values why we need that so what is happening is right now what we have is a single dimensional array so the value is basically the name like father mother sister th these are the you know enum values which are being populated in the drop down but the va but the key or rather the value of the option if you see from the in you know the inspect element right which we had what i see is the data value is coming as one two three so that is not going to help us because when we want to search or rather filter we want to filter by these values this is what is stored in the database let's see um over here right can you see this is the value that we have stored so we cannot create a filter where the value of the option is one two three we want the key as these things as well so we pass the second argument which is the index key as well and with that if i change this method hit refresh and now if i do this it is working why because let me again do an inspect element. We should understand in, you know, why this is the case. Can you see right now the value is father, sister, brother, things like this. Right? So this is why we made that slight change. We added a function or rather a one more static method to our enum, which not only gives the values in a single dimensional array but a multi-dimension or a key value pair where the value is the key as well as the value as well okay if that makes sense all right 
so our table is working we can do a search if required but i don't think over here i will have one because there are not too many you know guardians which will be listed so a search will not be required i don't need to show the id because that's a bit weird and yeah that's the final list in my table okay now the edit or the add form is what we need to work on i'm showing the id um which again is not required but what i want is text input forms make name this is going to be required and max length can be 255 then we have contact number and the relation is going to be a different one so required this like so and the last one is select make relation type options and in here we will have relation type this is is it key values or i think it's key values let's see i'll just need to test i'm not very sure all righty so we'll have someone contact number is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and let's do sister create and yeah we have this in place because now it's very easily able to i'm able to add stuff and delete uh, edit stuff so i can do brother delete and everything is working so this is what is relation managers in a very basic form i feel this is a wonderful tool because most of the time any entity will have these kind of relations and we need to manage the crud of those entities as well and it also made sense that for some reason if you don't want to show the guardian's crud in the main navigation right because you feel that it's not a way where you know someone will just add the guardian but rather you know it's the other way around where always the student will be added and then the guardian will be selected we are fine with that okay so yeah that's about it guys that's what i wanted to cover in this video if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel